let's go ahead and take a look at that local satellite and radar storm still developing just barely though out towards the Kansas City metro area really looking at these rain and storms dissipating out over the next few hours shouldn't be expecting much if any of this rainfall to be impacting most of our eastern counties here in northeast Missouri, but it is continuing to spread across southeast Iowa more so and we'll be looking for some low end rainfall amounts after we get through the morning hours, maybe just about a quarter of an inch or a little bit over that at best after these storms have moved through, but we could be dealing with a high end rainfall amount scenario after Tuesday as a round of severe storms could potentially be headed our way. But let's take a look at those current temperatures because it is a mild start to the day to say the least. 77 degrees still in a tumble 76 and that will be a 72 looking to be the coolest start to the day in Milan. Can't really call that cool with temperatures that we've seen down in towards the mid 50s during August rather than in the lower 70s. So unfortunately, Mother Nature let us know that it's, it, it was still the summer over the course of the weekend and it is still gonna feel like that over these next two days. But then things are gonna start to change. It's gonna jump right back to feeling like it is the middle of September for us on Tuesday and Wednesday with cooler temperatures pushing on in. But let's talk tomorrow's forecast. So a slight risk outlook for strong to severe storms. Thanks to the Storm Prediction Center for that outlook and then a marginal risk sliding even farther off towards the southwest and the northeast. But with this, we could be dealing with a threat of damaging hail, strong winds. We cannot rule out a tornado as well as flash flooding could be a major impact as well. We have some pretty high rainfall amounts and very heavy or rain heavy storms headed our way. All thanks to our upper air patterns being in the way they are funneling in Gulf of Mexico air, which is just inherently warmer and wetter than air we would get from the Northwest. So these rain showers today and storms just fizzling out over the next few hours. Then we watch for that next round starting off very early tomorrow morning. Now it's all going to be along a frontal boundary that we'll see up here developing in the next run right there and we'll get rain and a couple of rumbles of thunder to prelude that frontal boundary. But once that moves in, this is where we're going to see things just kicking it up a notch. So right about 2 p.m. is when we should be expecting that severe threat to start rearing its head and then extending in towards sundown, a large area of rain heavy, very active thunderstorms moving across the heartland and this will continue to develop well in towards the overnight hours. This is at midnight and an extremely large band of extremely heavy rainfall sliding in from Shelby County up towards central and north central Illinois. From there though, that moves out, high pressure building in, rainfall amounts could be as high as two and a half inches for some of us. And as for your extended forecast, take a look at that temperature drop from Tuesday into Wednesday. Ella, back to you.